Hey, welcome everybody. I'm John Zadar. I'm the host of On Top and Hot, and this is the first trading day for 2023. It is Tuesday, January 3rd. Now, right now, it is the middle of the day, folks. You're going to see prices changing, charts are moving. Normally, I wait to the end of the day, but I was doing some research over the holidays, and I came across this stock, and it really looks juicy to me, and I'd like to share this with you right now. This is ticker SYTA, Sayada Mobile Inc. This is a penny stock on the NASDAQ. Now, Sayada works with a disruptive technology that is going to change the world again. They are working with in-vehicle communication. Do you remember back in the 70s and the 80s when we had CB radios? Uh, breaker, breaker, come on there, pig pen, you got your ears on? Well, that CB did not need any cellular service to connect to. It was free and you could talk to people all over the place. What about walkie-talkies? Same thing, you didn't need no cellular service to connect your walkie-talkies. You could talk to your friends anywhere in the neighborhood for free. Well, that's the sort of situation we're looking at here. They're bringing that old technology to today's new technology of 2G, 3G, 4G, and they're bringing it into the vehicles. And boy, is it working well and it is catching fire. So currently, SYTA is at uh, just under 16 cents with about 3.5% gains. Now let's take a closer look at what this company is about. Well, starting off with the description we've got right here, they tell us that Sayada Mobile Inc. is a leading global developer and provider of cellular communication systems for enterprise customers, specializing in connected vehicle products for professional fleets, marketed under the Uniden cellular brand. Since developing the world's first 3G connected vehicle device back in 2012, Sayada has been a pioneer in the industry, launching the world's first 4G light all-in-one fleet communications device in 2017, incorporating voice, push to talk over cellular, data, and fleet management solutions into a single device. The company aims to become the connected vehicle communications device of choice for commercial vehicles and fleets around the world. Sayada also offers rugged phones for industrial users and signal boosters for homes, buildings, and fleets with poor cell coverage. Sayada's customers include cellular operators, commercial vehicle technology distributors, and fleets of all sizes in Canada, the US, Europe, Australia, and the Middle East. Now let's jump on over to their website. So we have jumped on over here to SayataMobile.com, their website. They got lots of information here about lots of different devices that they carry, including the uh, Sayata SD7 phone, if you really want to call it that. This is one of the products that is being picked up by big, huge companies and being sold to a large customer base. And I'm going to share that information with you here in a bit. Now, they just don't sell this phone. Now, the phone's more than just a phone. It's got a camera on it. It live streams. It records. It keeps you in touch with your company, other trucks, stuff like that. But they've got other devices. And I want to share what the basic function is of all of their products, why you would want to use them, and the best way to do that is make use of their video. Yeah, I had like 10 different devices going at the same time. I had my cell phone, I had a GPS system, so my two-way to talk to other truck drivers, stuff rattling around in the back, trucks zooming by. I had so many things to deal with. Can't talk on a phone, drive, press buttons at the same time. In response to the many significant problems that plague the traditional in-vehicle communication, Uniden developed the new UV350, the device that does it all. In-vehicle communication is one of the most important tools for commercial drivers today. The UV350 is a game changer. It essentially replaces with a single unit what used to take between four to 10 devices to accomplish. Specifically, the call quality is so much better. We see that you'll be there shortly. We have two packages waiting for you at the south door. We'll see you soon. All right, understood. Looks like it's gonna be some clear driving ahead and uh, thanks very much. So there you go, folks. You've got one device that is bringing everything together. You've got your phone, your GPS, Google Maps, the internet. You've got the fleet software built in there. Everything is in one device, even your CB. Everything, so you don't need all of those different gadgets and you know you're gonna have connection. Now here's some of the benefits you get with their products. It eliminates engine and road noise. 
obviously replaces a whole lot of other devices, extends cellular and GPS coverage, eliminates in-vehicle echo and sound quality problems, it is resistant to extreme hot and cold temperatures, water resistant, dust resistant, bang and drop resistant. They're very rugged devices. And it works with all networks, compatible with all 2G, 3G and 4G light networks, as well as the first net band of AT&T. All right, so now that you got an idea of their products and what they do, and it's worth some more DD, folks, let's go take a look at what sort of volume she was doing and what's her share structure, and then I want to share all this great news that they've got. Now keep in mind, when we're looking at relative volume, the day is not done yet. We've still got a few hours to go. But on an average, she's doing about 2.4 million shares a day. And right now, she's just barely over a half a million. And we've only got a few hours left. So I don't get the impression she's going to meet her daily average today. Just a feeling. Share structure. All right, had to go look this one up. We have a decent float of 44 million. I'm not going to call it low, but 44 million is quite reasonable. Our financials for Sayada. All right, at the end of 2021, she did $7.5 million worth of business. We know that's millions and not thousands because we got to add these three zeros to any of the numbers here. And they have been filing every single quarter, even though it's not here. This is the otcmarkets.com website, and this is a NASDAQ stock. It's not a OTC stock. So you don't always expect to find all the information over here. But as I said, they have been filing on time. And their last quarterly report in September, they did $2.2 million. A year ago in September, they only did half that much. So they have doubled their revenues quarter over quarter in the same period of time. Disclosures, we got anything new over here? Oh, we do, we got a 6K, no need to jump into it. Basically, it says that they've had an infiltration of water into one of their warehouses and it's damaged some of their products. They're not quite sure how much they are doing inventory right now. And then we've got the news. And this is what I'm excited to share with you folks because they've got a ton of news. Now, all this news up here is quite old. This is all from 2020. We're not going to look at any of that. But they got lots of news down here that has come in from a lot of different places. But I found just by going to the company's website, I could get the news that I needed. Now, we're not going to go through all the news, but I want to do some touch on, some bullets to a whole bunch of pieces of news that are quite relevant. So let's start this off with some news I found back in June. All right, we're going to peruse about six months worth of news here real quick. We're just going to bullet it. I want you to see the sort of momentum they are getting right now, the attention that they're catching, and the companies that are backing them up and moving their products. So we're going to start here with June 7th, 2022. Sayada launches next generation push to talk over cellular SD7 device on Verizon Global Network. The company announced that Verizon Communications, the largest mobile operator in the U.S. with 143 million total retail connections as of Q1 2022 has fully integrated Sayada's rugged SD7 device into their network. As Sayada channel partner, Verizon will sell the SD7 to their broad enterprise customer base as well as their first responder network of 4.5 million connections with over 30,000 public safety agencies. The SD7 was developed to disrupt and replace the multi-billion dollar land mobile radio. You can also think of that as a CB radio. The next piece of news came out here June 27th. Syada's next generation push to talk over cellular SD7 device is now commercially available and sold through FirstNet and AT&T. Whoa! They tell us here that the company announced that the SD7 rugged device is now commercially available on and will be sold through FirstNet Network and to AT&T Inc.'s enterprise channels. AT&T is one of the America's largest mobile operators with over 201 million mobility subscribers as of the fourth quarter 2021. As Syada Channel Partner, AT&T will offer the SD7 device and accessories to their extensive U.S. enterprise customer base. You got Verizon and AT&T selling this SD7 phone system. 
come on. This is backing as big as you can get in telecommunications. Moving on to the next piece of news that came out September 8th. Syada launches Crisis Go panic app integration for the SD7, providing instant communication between teachers and first responders to improve crisis response times. The company announces that its 7D7 rugged mission critical push to talk device is now integrated with Crisis Go Inc.'s panic app, giving teachers instant access to first responders with a single push of a button. Integrated SOS communication improves response time times and public safety during times of school community crisis. The next piece of news came out September 22nd. Syada Mobile's Uniden cellular booster kits and accessories to be purchased by U.S. Navy. The company announced that it has received a purchase order from a federal government contractor who will provide Uniden cellular booster kits and accessories to the U.S. Navy. The order includes the Uniden U70P cellular booster kits and accessories that will be utilized for numerous naval buildings with poor cell phone signal reception. The next piece of news comes out October 26th. Syada's SD7 plus cellular body camera device will soon be powered by Visual Labs. The company announces that the SD7 plus rugged mission critical push to talk device will soon be powered with Visual Labs innovative body camera software. The integration of PTT and body camera functionality into a single platform eliminates the need for users to carry two separate devices. Moving on to November. Syada Mobile's SD7 device launch on Bell Mobility Wireless Network expands next generation to push talk over cellular services across Canada. The company announces that Bell Mobility Inc., a leading wireless operator in Canada with more than 10 million subscribers and a division of Bell Canada, will launch Syada's rugged SD7 device onto their networks in the fourth quarter of 2022. I'm loving it, folks. Then here in December 6th, Syada Mobile adds UK and Ireland distributor Radio Trader for SD7 devices and VK7 accessories. The company has added Radio Trader, the UK and Ireland's premier two-way radio supplier to distribute the SD7 ruggedized mission critical POC device and VK7 vehicle kit accessories. And I have only touched onto the news, folks. There's a lot of news out there, but I wanted to show you some of the big stuff. You can see the backing that they're getting from some of the biggest corporations out there in communications. So how can this company fail? Now, if you really want to continue on with your due diligence, Come on over here to Twitter. Syada Mobile has their own account, and boy, I'll tell you what, they fill this account up with information. There is so much information here, more than you're going to find in the news. So if you really want to do your homework, start right here. Now, one of the things that caught my attention to this company was its most current price target. It was given a price target by Thomas Kerr, who's been in the industry for 25 years. He says the new price target is about $2.50 for the company, which is a nice increase considering we're at what right now at about $0.25, cents, something like that. Matter of fact, let's go see what the price is right now and what that chart looks like. All right, we are now taking a look at SYTA on Think or Swim. This is that free trading platform that TD Ameritrade gives you for free just for signing up for their free trading account. And all you got to do to use it is keep your account open. It's just that simple. So we are looking at SYTA. I've got it up on a weekly three-year chart because I want to show you the high bubble here. We got a high bubble back in February of 2021 of $15.75. Now, I'm not sure that's an accurate value of the company back then. In case you've forgotten, February 2021 is when we got our last stimulus check from the government and a ton of people brought that money to the markets. I have never, 
ever seen the OTC market as hot as it was in February of 2021. It was 4th of July, Christmas, New Year's, all rolled up into one. It was tremendous until it stopped, and then it was horrendous. And it has been falling ever since then, as you can see. So I'm not sure this is an accurate value of the company back then. A lot of companies were exceeding in prices compared to the value of the stocks. Looking at our one day, one year chart. All right, a year ago, Sciato was $4.29, and back in November, she was down at a low of 10 and a half cents. She had a huge fall back here of four and a quarter down to one and a quarter, and she sat there for a while until she didn't anymore, and then she's tumbled all the way down here and has been flat for quite a while. Looking at our six month, four hour chart, there's our high now in the last six months, only $1.72. And after hitting that high, she fell all the way down here and looks like she's in a coma. You wouldn't know this company has had all this big news and not too far back from June until December. And you've got major companies, Verizon, AT&T, Bell Mobile, and who knows who I might have even missed. All of these companies are gonna be pushing the products of this company. How can they possibly lose? And yet we don't see anything going on in these charts. Looking at our 20 day, one hour view. So she's had a big drop here down to 13 cents, bounced off of that to a high of about 20 cents, and has just been arguing and fighting with the 200-day SMA and hanging there. She isn't going anywhere, and even the technicals are just pretty much going sideways. Even looking at the five-day, you don't see anything more. She is going sideways. Now, I'm not showing this to you because I think it's gonna run next week or next month. I'm showing this to you because they've got disruptive technology. This is gonna take over folks who wants to use cellular service that doesn't reach out to this point or that point who wants to deal with multiple devices in their vehicle this is an answer to a lot of problems and with big companies like that backing them up how can they fail I just can't see how they can possibly fail so no I don't think they're gonna run in the next 30 days but I darn sure think that they're gonna run in the next three years so we are talking about a long hold do some more DD folks I missed a lot of information I just wanted to pique your curiosity did I do it well I hope this stock excites you as much as it does me this stock has a new price target of two dollars and fifty cents and it is currently at 15 cents what's that give you six 12, that's like 1,500% gains if it gets up to that 250. You saw what it was a year ago, $4.25. And yeah, three years ago, it was almost 16 bucks. But I believe this company is going to explode, folks. The technology is universal. We can use it all over the world. Solves a lot of problems. And it's being backed by some of the biggest communication companies in the world. I'm gonna say it one more time. How can they fail? Come on, folks, do your own DD. Lots of information at their website and over there at Twitter. I'm sure you dive into it. You're going to be even more impressed. Remember, folks, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya.